We had a common objective, and that was the land was stolen from our people. How can you come and ask a people who's occupied country for over 60, 70,000 years, 100,000 years, to say, I'm sorry, but you, you have to move away now because we're here, we're going to put cattle and sheep here? It just makes no sense. This parliament, the state parliaments, do not make the final decision in this country. The people who make the final decision in this country live in England. And that's where we've got to go. That's where we have to take our fight to. So they gave us this document, this book. And we opened it up and there was that section seven. In the Australian version, they leave off the beginning where it says, Queen Victoria and her heirs and successors. So she committed this queen to this here law. We do have a right to be recognised as independent peoples and independent nations, just like in the United States. The uniqueness about our position in Australia is the fact that we have never been defeated in a war by the British. We have never, ever ceded our sovereignty to these people and we have never signed a treaty. When we were talking about Zimbabwe, this fellow called John Howard, who was the Prime Minister of Australia at the time, had got really upset because he was saying, look, if you go down the road, if he's saying to London, if you allow Zimbabwe to take the land off these settlers and these soldiers' settlements by legislation in Parliament, they don't have to pay them compensation, we're the next ones in Australia who's going to be targeted. That case says that Aboriginal people, if the lands are left in the ownership of the Aboriginal people of Australia, then the British cannot have a lodial title to our land. They do not have a beneficial title. They have a registered title only, but they do not have a beneficial title. And these parliaments are cheating their way through. I wear this headband, I, the colour of this headband, because I've been through the ceremonies to become a leader. That law is superior to the Western law. Murrell argued that he was not a subject of the, of the king, but was governed by his own law. And that if he was to be uh, prosecuted under English law as an English subject, then he had a legal right to claim for compensation for the lands that were taken from him. And so this is where we have Australia stuck. Yeah? 